Pentecost explained in three minutes. We read about the story of Pentecost in the book of Acts in the Bible, which was written by St. Luke to explain the journey and life of the church right after Jesus ascended into heaven. Remember that from our last video? Yeah, so Pentecost in the Greek language, Pentecoste, actually means 50th because in the Jewish tradition, which Jesus and his disciples were a part of, Pentecost happened 50 days after the Passover. You know, that's when Jesus and his disciples had that last supper. Nowadays in the church, Pentecost signifies the final day of the season of Easter, where we've been celebrating Jesus' resurrection and ascension into heaven. We sometimes call Pentecost the birthday of the church. We do this because it's kind of like the day the church was born. It's the day the disciples and Mary were filled with the Holy Spirit. So, what actually happened on Pentecost? Well, all the disciples were together in a house in Jerusalem when suddenly a sound like a crazy intense wind came and filled the place. Then, what looked like fire came down and rested on each of their heads. At that point, they were filled with the Holy Spirit, which allowed them to speak in all different languages. Yay for low teachers! Viva! So at that time in Jerusalem, there were heaps of people from all different nations. Parthenians, Medes, Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Porteus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. No Australians, unfortunately. Which is weird, because every time I travel, I always seem to run into Australians. Anyway. When these people heard the sound, they came running to the house where the disciples were. And they were super confused, because they could all hear the disciples speaking in their own languages. Huh? So, Peter gets up and explains to the crowd, <clears throat> Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and for your children and for all people, for all whom the Lord our God will call. So 3,000 people dedicated their lives to Jesus that day. 3,000! And people kept coming to the church from that day onwards. Until today, 2,000 years later, there are over 2.5 billion people following Jesus. So, what does this mean for us today? Well, remember how Jesus promised to his disciples, I will be with you always, when he ascended into heaven? This is him following through on that promise. He sent his Holy Spirit to fill each of us up. You may not see us with tongues of fire on our head or speaking 20 different languages, but even better than that, you will see us with patience, kindness, joy, love, faithfulness, peace, and goodness. Happy birthday, church.